everyone, this is Grace from Kapwing, and today I'm going to show you how you can make any image into a PNG file. What we're going to do is take an image like this and remove the background so it looks like this. This is useful for overlays where you're overlaying the image onto other images or videos or text and you need to see the background. So to make an image transparent into a PNG, we're going to use a tool called Kapwing and it's free online. You just go to kapwing.com studio and I'll put the link in the description below. You don't need to download any software onto your computer. You can just go straight to this website and use it for free. And if you sign in, no watermark is added to your PNG. So once you get here, you can either start with a blank canvas or just click to upload a JPEG or an image that you already have, or even paste the link. I have a cat image that I'm gonna upload here and it's a JPEG as you can see. It has a white background, so if I make this background sh black, you can see that there's still this whole white outside border that will be in the image, in the final image. This, is good. this can be really annoying. If you're trying to overlay this, it looks kind of crappy, so the way that you can fix this is by turning it into a PNG. So we're going to do that today by clicking this photo and then on the right hand side you can just go click erase here and it'll take you into this window where you can start erasing the parts you don't want in the photo so i don't want the white part none of the white part i just want the cat sitting there so if you select this magic wand tool on the right hand side this will if you click and drag it will select areas that are similar to each other so as you can see i selected I just clicked and dragged a tiny bit and it selected almost the whole white white part out here. You can adjust the sensitivity on the right with this slider. So lower sensitivity will select less of the area and then the most sensitivity will probably select almost the whole thing. So if you just click magic wand and just click and drag, you can test out these different sensitivities. So as you can see, as I'm dragging around, I'm clicking and dragging around the sensitivity bar on the right hand side is kind of changing. So you can click and drag as much as you want. So it'll select the largest amount of area that you want to remove. So I'm just gonna click and drag. All right, so it selected all of that. And if you wanna delete it, just go ahead and click delete and it removes it. So I'm just gonna do this again with this latter half of the photo. And delete. Okay, so we're almost actually there. This was a pretty easy photo to do. To erase more specifically, you can click erase and then this is just a freehand eraser. So anything that you click and drag on, it will remove the pixels. You have to be pretty careful with this because otherwise the photo you might like remove something that you didn't want to um, and it's harder to control than the magic eraser but it's good for getting really specific points out of the way and you can also uh, adjust the size on the right hand side so this is eraser size 5 versus size 200. One more feature I want to show is that you can zoom in so right now we're not 151 percent zoom but you can zoom in more or less. So I'm gonna zoom in 400% and here we can see it's pretty zoomed in. This is good for just getting like really small portions. It allows you to be really careful with what you're erasing. So like this, I wanna make sure that I don't actually erase any of the cat's foot, which is harder to do when you're zoomed out. So yeah, just continue to erase um, using the magic eraser or the the regular eraser to get rid of parts you don't want in the image. All right, so I'm pretty happy with that. It's all just the cat now, and I'm gonna click done. As you can see, there's no more white background, so you can overlay this on anything and it looks more clean. So to actually save it as a PNG, you're gonna wanna make sure that the background of the canvas is actually transparent. So right now it's colored black and while this cat picture itself is a PNG, if you click publish right now, it won't save as a PNG because of the background. So you're just gonna wanna click the background and then go over here to background color and click this, the color with the slash through it, which is just like the transparent PNG background. So then you want to resize your image to fit the canvas 
or you can resize the canvas itself. Um, you can even add a custom size if you want. It looks good, so I'm, I think I'm happy with this PNG. Um, once you're done, you can just go ahead and click publish and your PNG will load. There we go, so this is my cat PNG. And as you can see, it has no background. And when we click download, as you can see in this area below, it's a cat PNG. All right, guys, I hope that was useful. If you want to learn more about PNGs, uh, let us know your video ideas and we'll see you next time.